Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? It's D, the Canadian Pepper Farmer here, and today is March 7th, 2020, and my ladies are just looking absolutely gorgeous. So, I know I uh, put up on my Instagram, <coughs> I'm sorry, I put up on my Instagram there, what, last week? I was going to try and get a video out last weekend. Uh, yeah, that didn't happen. As you can tell from my voice, I've got a cold again. And uh, that's exactly why I'm not on camera. Trust me, I'm old. I just, I don't look great. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, I got sick, ended up with pneumonia, and, you know, what, three weeks later, I get a cold again, thanks to my lovely children. But, you know, it's not coronavirus or anything, so I'm thankful there. Anyway, give you guys a short video, a little update about what's going on. As you can see, I've uh, transplanted some of the girls up. Uh, these are the ones in this tray right here. These are the ones that were all in twos and threes. And they're solo cups. Uh, look at that. I'm, I'm actually quite happy. All three of uh, my crate and chili. For those that don't know, that's my cross between... Well, it's my accidental cross between uh, Caribbean Red Habaneros, Ghost Peppers. And there was Scorpion of them. I think that might be Bredo now. So I'm going to have to work on that this year. That would be a nice adventure, but I mean, look, look at that. These gorgeous, gorgeous plants. Uh, they are getting a little yellow. They are due for a bit of a feed. Uh, I've got some, well, it's not great, but I got some half decent fertilizer. It's, it's organic stuff, so I don't like using that chemical crap unless I absolutely, in the dire need, I have to, which, uh, anyway. They're all doing great. Uh, what is that? It's a red savina. I mean, beautiful structure there. Uh, at the back, that be, let me get my finger on. That guy right there is a reaper. I think he's a reaper. I know that's a bleeding Borg 9. Those are my three biggest plants right now. Uh, I am going to try and get a small fan going in here, just so I, you know, like, I want to get the, uh, you know, I want to get the stems a little thicker. I mean, it's only March, and they're not going out till middle of May, end of May. At least in my area, May 2-4, long weekend, is uh, ideal for planting. It's your no risk of frost overnight, so. That, and, uh, yeah, there's a nice... Cheap, you know, Valentine's Day rose bush I got my wife. We uh, killed the one she had last year, so. Huh? Let's see here. There's a little African violet. I like picking up things, as you guys can tell. So, these are way due for transplant. Uh, these are the last set of seeds I'm going to be starting, unless I have to start more. But I, this one I'm quite happy about. This row here. That's four Dragon's Breath that came up. And I'm, I'm confident that they're Dragon's Breath because all these seeds, except for the Charleston's, which still haven't popped, and I just now got two Fatalis. These are Pepper Joe's here. Everything else is Jim Duffy. Except, obviously, my, uh, look at that. My Chinese five colors. I got three of them that survived. They all got purpling. Oh man, the first year I grew those, those plants were just absolutely stunning. So I'm really excited. Uh, but yeah, anyway, Dragon's Breath, that row, Sepia Serpent, three of those. Uh, Ahi Lemon Drops. Those are, I can't pronounce it, it's like Penwaya, Penwaya, I don't know. <laughs> Senuesas, I guess. Uh, my five colors. None of the Shishintos popped. One Thai Dragon. Which kind of pees me off. I might start more. I uh, forget what these guys are. Oh, these are Purple Serranos. Again, yeah. These are from Pepper Joe's. Nothing. These are Purple Tiger, yada yada. <laughs> I don't have my sheet. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, these are two Fatalis. Weird, eh? Just about all the Pepper Joe stuff I have. Didn't pop. 
<sighs> but I'm hoping it's like last year and, uh, you know, I hope some of the things are true that I get. Like, I'm pretty sure last year I either had chocolate halves or uh, sepia serpents, but I wanted the real deal. So I went with Jim Duffy over at Refining Fire Chilies. You guys need to give me a second. I got to open my door. Holy. There we go. I have a heater going in here because it's been getting cold at night. And uh, for those of you that don't know, and I've, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to put these on this channel. I have my own personal Instagram that's not Canadian Pepper Farmer where I have these guys. As some of you recall, last year uh, being in Canada and especially in Ontario, I can grow four of these, uh, we're going to call them medicinal plants. <laughs> and uh, they just pop. That one had a helmet on its head, so it's not that great right now. But uh, they just pop. That's why everything's kind of moved around. I wanted them on a heat mat. So yeah, for, you, for you, those of you that are new to the channel, last year was my first venture out growing uh, legal Canadian cannabis. This year I'm going to grow four of my own seeds and see what's up. That's the venture. I don't think I'll keep it on our channel just because, you know, this is a pepper channel. And I don't... You know, not everybody's for cannabis and stuff like that. So, I mean, you know, if anybody wants to comment down below and say, hey, I wouldn't mind seeing some videos just geared towards that. I mean, I'm fairly new to that stuff, so I'm no expert. <laughs> I'm not even an expert on peppers. I'm just an enthusiast who's got a bit of a green thumb, enjoys what he does, right? Just like all of us who enjoy growing makes us happy especially me you know someone who suffers from anxiety i i don't think i'm depressed <laughs> but i definitely have anxiety issues and that and this this makes me happy especially when all this gets out in the garden oh man i'm just i can sit there for hours and just stare so yeah i'm kind of rambling on but uh here's a little update to what's going on and uh for you for those of you that don't know the bigger ones at the back I've got about, uh, I've only got three or four of those one or two gallon or half gallon. I don't know what they measure at pots, but they're going to be potted up. I want them big for when they get outside. Try to get a head start this year. Uh, yeah, but anyway, besides that, you know, that's, this is what we're going. I'm still in a mushy cluttered up room, but there's nothing I can really do about that. It's, uh. Yeah, it's more or less, I got to deal with it until I can empty out my junk trailer and then they're going to load half it in there. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, uh, just because I had the, uh, you guys can't really tell, uh, it's like 80 degrees, what is that, 26 degrees. I keep everything in Fahrenheit because all my stuff's in Fahrenheit, so. But uh, yeah, I usually keep this room float anywhere between 70 and 78 degrees it just jumped up to 80 because i had the door closed and my heater on uh that's another reason why i lost oh ew. you can see some back well you can't guys can't really see them i had a few seedlings just shrivel up and die because of how hot it was but uh, i wasn't here for that door being closed <clears throat> anyway guys Thanks for checking out the channel. Thanks for checking out my videos. If you want, leave a like. Subscribe if you want. But, you know, you don't have to. I'm not pressuring anybody. Uh, you know, I do post a lot of pictures. So if anybody wants to head over to my uh, Canadian Pepper Farmer Instagram, it's all one word, all lowercase. Plenty of stuff on there. I just hit 100 followers. Uh, if I had viable seeds... I'd be doing a giveaway right now. So there will be one of those in the future. If I hit like 150, I'm going to start doing little milestones, right? That's just on Instagram. So yeah, that's cool. Anyway, guys, have yourselves a wonderful weekend, and I will keep you posted from now on. Promise. Alrighty. Take care now. Bye-bye.